What's up guys? I'm Jammin' J. This is a YouTube intro. I'm very sorry. That's not really how I roll. Anyway, this video will be simple. I'm going to talk about using trigger fire, but more specifically, I'm going to talk about the best way to use trigger fire by using small videos with a green screen effect rather than just sounds or images. This will not require an actual green screen. You do have to be an affiliate on Twitch in order to use trigger fire. By the end of this video, you will know how to create really fun effects that your viewers can redeem on your stream that are kind of like this. I declare bankruptcy! It's fun. I am going to make an effect of my face using a picture that I just took. And the software I will use is Photopea. It's very similar to Photoshop, it has a lot of the same functionality, but it actually runs right out of your browser. First, let's do new. 1280 by 720 is fine for what I'm doing. Create. I need to go to where I have the picture saved and I can simply drag and drop it in. Hold Alt and scroll up to zoom. And I'm gonna come over here to the lasso tool, right click, go to magnetic lasso. And I'm going to grab the rough cutout of my face. A cool trick I've found when you're trying to get a good outline of something is you can do select inverse and then that way unselect all of the parts that you don't want and kind of smooth it out. Now to delete stuff, we need to rasterize the object. I just use the eraser tool, click hit OK. Now I can delete the selection. I will clean it up using the eraser tool. Don't forget about control Z. Finally, I'm gonna smooth out the edges by running a blur around all of the edges. Now I wanna resize it a little bit, so I'm gonna hit edit transform scale i do need to hold shift to keep the proportions all the same enter it's about the size that i want it and now i'm going to uncheck the background that way there will be no background when i save it great this face is ready to go now i'm going to hit up here download as a png that way there will be no background on my object and it's downloaded so now I am in Premiere Pro. This will work similarly in any video editing software that you have. If you're using DaVinci Resolve or something else, the general idea stands. So I have a picture of the green screen color. You simply need to just Google green screen color or something. And I just dragged this block onto my sequence. So now my sequence is 1920 by 1080. Everything that I'm doing is just in the effects tab. I'm going to scale this thing up so it takes up the entire frame. And then I'm going to drag this picture onto the green screen. Since it was saved as a JPEG, there is no background on it. So what I'm going to do now is add a very simple animation on it. I only want this effect to be about three and a half seconds. So what I need to do is come over here and click on scale for what I'm going to do. What I'm doing here is I'm setting a keyframe. A keyframe is just an indicator for where the object needs to be at a given point on the timeline sequence. So for example, right now it's 100. And if I were to say at two seconds, it needs to be 200 or double in size. During the time in between these two spots, it will grow to twice the size. So if I just put, press play, it'll just start growing. Now, the same thing goes for position. If I were to say it's supposed to be right here at the beginning, but then by the end of the clip, it's supposed to be over here. It will slowly move and grow bigger throughout the sequence. You can play around with these as much as you want. And if you want to unset it, all you have to do is click toggle animation hit okay and it'll get rid of any keyframes i'm gonna set a keyframe 
with the scale at zero so there's nothing on the screen but almost immediately i want this to grow a lot i'm gonna put it at 170 and then right after that i'm gonna put it at 120. so now what people will see on my stream is this effect I'm going to set another keyframe at the size of 120 right here. And I'm going to do basically the same thing on the way out. My viewers are going to see this on the screen. Now I've added a bottom drum from the YouTube audio library and my effect looks and sounds like this. Now we're over on trigger fire on trigger fire. You can do a lot of fun things you can trigger images, videos, sounds, OBS, and groups. But the whole point of this tutorial is to be able to do an interactive, fun video. So here are some of my green screen effects that I have in Trigger Fire. We're going to hit plus to add a new one. Command name, I'm calling this Butum. I need to click this button, name it the same thing in Twitch. Case matters, exact spelling matters, save. So now I go to upload, select file. Now I'll hit the check. So it'll select my button video, save. And there it is. Now I need to head over to Twitch, viewer rewards, channel points, manage rewards and challenges and add new custom reward. We are going to add button. Remember the exact spelling has to match trigger fire. You'll have to name it. You'll have to add the cost. And if you want to add your own reward icon, you can, and then you can add a cooldown for number of times per stream, how often it can be used, etc. Hit create to implement properly in OBS. Make sure you add a browser source. So click right down here for the browser source to trigger fire. When adding a browser source, you hit plus browser. You want to make sure that the width and height are where you want them. Mine is at 1920 by 1080 and you copy and paste the URL from trigger fire to this line right here. So the whole reason we added a green screen was to get rid of the green screen when we are using this effect, right click on your browser source and go to filters. We need to add a chroma key. This is easy. Just go to plus add a chroma key and then adjust accordingly. If your source has any yellows or green adjacent colors, you might want to bring this, this similarity down a touch, but these are things that you'll have to mess with on your own. A chroma filter essentially gets rid of all the green in a source so that you're only left with the other things. The reason they use green is because it is the furthest color away from human skin tones. So I use OBS live. I think this would work without OBS live, but Anyway, uh, to test that it worked, come to the left, hit the channel points, and let's do bottom. Nice. That's all there is to making a really simple, silly effect like that. Now, obviously, you can get extremely creative with this idea. You can get as crazy with the animations as you want. I would love to see the stuff that you guys are able to come up with. You know the drill. If you liked it, if it was helpful, like, subscribe to my channel, or come hang out with me on Twitch. I'm on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I also really like Twitter. I'm on Twitter every day. So let's be Twitter friends. Signing out, it's your boy, Jam and Jay. Uh, I'm just kidding. I hate when people do crap like that. <laughs> Later, dudes. Guys. I never knew, learned what a prime number was and they still let me out of fourth grade. To this day, it's never been useful and I don't know what it is still. But I got it, let's go!